with Predator season in full swing, I thought that I'd head out in search of a big London pike. There was one venue that I had in mind, that being the Copper Mill Stream on the Walthamstow Complex, a lovely, intimate, shallow, clear river, and I knew that I'll be doing a lot of visual fishing when hunting these pike down. I'll be using my Polaroid glasses and roving just with one rod light on the barrow in search of some lovely pike. I couldn't actually believe my luck that when I walked into the first swim, as I come through the gate, there was actually a lovely pike sitting there in amongst the cabbages. It was a really good fish as well, and it didn't take me long before I got a rod ready. with the fight being very short, but I wasn't to be complaining because I had a lovely big river pike in the net. Probably an old fish, that's why I didn't give, up, give too much of a fight. And uh, I was so over the moon with uh, that result so early on in the session. As I went to actually unhook the pike, I noticed that the hooks had come out in the net. So I was pretty lucky with that one. And uh, I let him rest whilst I got all the map prepared and the camera set up to do a little bit of video footage and what a lovely fish it was. Well, there you go. A big London pike, 18 pound, caught on a little roach dead bait. And uh, it's my first fish of the year. So I'm absolutely chuffed. And uh, yeah, let's get him back because it's a little bit warm considering it's uh, January, so yeah. Thank you, Mr. Pike. Let's get him back. Well, I released that lovely upper double and it had beautiful markings on it. It was like a golden coppery green and uh, I was well, well over the moon with that fish. But I thought that I'd get the rod set back up again using simple tactics and uh, go in search of some more river pike. I knew there was a few more to be had, so uh, I wasn't just stopping there and uh, I was feeling lucky. I checked out pretty much every swim on uh, that side of the river. There wasn't loads of swims, but I gave them a good look. And even when I wasn't too sure if I could see pike in the swim, they're so camouflaged, especially in that tap clear water, that they are just masters of their environment. They can sit there and go unseen. So I always tend to have a few casts in each swim too. Just pass a bit of time as well. You're, I'm obviously there for a few hours, so I didn't want to just pop my head in and uh, if I didn't see anything, not actually fish, because you'd never know if you'd never actually give it a go. So yeah, cast out in, in most of the swims and it wasn't until I got to right at the beginning of where the the river starts that I managed to locate a few more fish.
another lovely river pike and a, a really good fish for a small London river. This actually come minutes after uh, a mid double and uh, yeah this one 19 pound and uh, what a beautiful beautiful pike. I'm over the moon. I'll show, I'll show you this, uh, this other little one quickly. Here's the first one, mid double, about 13, 14 pound I reckon. Good fish as well. And uh, I didn't expect to catch three today, but sometimes it just comes good. Pike stalking on an urban London river. Now yeah, beautiful visual fishing, using dead baits. And um, yeah, what a lovely day to be out. Lovely and warm. And, uh, Three lovely pike. Let's get them back. When I'm pike fishing, I always make sure that I'm prepared and I've got all the tools I need to unhook a pike. And in case I get in any kind of trouble, that I've got cutters and pliers with me too. I've got a little tool wrap. It's got everything in it, everything to hand. And before I unhook a pike, I will always prepare that next to the mat and uh, make sure that nothing's without of reach if I do get into an accident. I never quite thought that my session would go that well fishing for the pike, especially with it being cold. Pike do also slow down just like all other species of fish. And yeah, multiple big doubles from a small London river in, a, in January. I couldn't have asked for more and I was certainly, certainly happy with that result.